Hello, I'm Miss Swales and I'm here to tell you about health and social care. So maybe you're like me and over the last 12 months have developed nothing but complete admiration and respect for the people in this country that work in health and social care. Our NHS workers, people in social care, people in education and also childcare. And maybe you'd like to know a little bit more about what they do and what makes them so good at their jobs. So the qualification we offer is a vocational one, but it's equivalent to a GCSE. So benefits of studying this type of qualification means you're not relying on just passing all your exams at the end. It's a coursework based subject where 75% of your marks will come from completing coursework. So that takes the pressure off and right at the beginning of year nine you can begin building towards writing your coursework and earning marks towards your final grade. There's four modules to study. In year nine we start off looking at communication and you produce a piece of coursework looking at how to communicate with different individuals in different health and social care settings. You get the freedom to choose what you want to write about. Do you want to focus on the classroom? Do you want to focus on an NHS ward, maternity services, mental health services? We also look at how to communicate with people with disabilities. So looking at things like sign language, Makaton and Braille. In year 10, we move on to more coursework, this time looking at the human body and health, where you learn about different organs, and we learn about lots of different medical conditions that can affect them. We even get the opportunity to do some dissection work and have a look at how to measure your own physical health. In the final year, in year 11, we move on to look at a piece of coursework that looks at development through the life stages. So we look at child development and how children grow into teenagers and learn new skills. We look at changes in older adulthood. We also learn about lots and lots of other medical conditions, including ones that affect the body, conditions that you're born with, like Down syndrome, and we also have a big topic looking at mental health and all the different sorts of conditions that can affect people's mental well-being. Um, reasons you should study this qualification then is, as I said, it's only one small exam at the end of year 11. The lesson styles really vary, so some are teacher-led, some are group work and practical work, you get the chance to write scripts and carry out role plays, you get to do your own independent research about areas you're really interested in, um, and as I said, it's really useful if you're thinking of moving into uh, maybe a future course or a future career in health and social care. That could include things like working for the NHS, becoming a nurse, look at working with mental health and becoming a counsellor, um, becoming a paramedic. Maybe you're interested in working with children or moving into education. Qualification is really good at letting you learn about all these different sorts of industries and sectors and really opening your eyes about what potential job opportunities are out there. Hope you found this informative. Thank you very much.